Hey everyone, Co-Monster here from gsinvention.com. In this video, I'll be showing you my newest template that I've made. It's just a top-down viewed car racing game, GS Inventions Car Race. So let's load up the game. As you can see, we'll go to the main menu with some nice music in the background. We can click credits, or we can go start. Let's just start the game. Here we can choose between five different vehicles. Each vehicle has a certain amount of colors that we can choose from. So let's just choose this vehicle and select the color green. Or let's choose yellow actually. We'll click go. It'll count down from three, two, one, action. The car in front of me right now is the enemy AI and I'm behind him. The AI is basically controlled by waypoints. So if I try and knock him off course, he will always go back on course, therefore not turning around the opposite way and going the wrong direction. There is only three laps in this template, and after the three laps have been completed, you either win or lose. So let's just try and lose this one, or oh, well, I not have to try, I've already lost. As you can see, the enemy AI came first, so it said lose. Let's just start again, let's choose a different car, let's do the Ute choose orange and go three two one say if we wanted to catch up we would just have to click either the end button or we click the word NOS next to the um, steering wheel so we're going to click end nice animations there with NOS on the back just like a little flame so now we're on lap three we've gotten way ahead thanks to the NOS. We can use the NOS three times per level or per match and then we can't use it anymore. As you can see we won that match. Now let's take a look behind the scenes of this template. So let's just go back into the scene. <coughs> we can have a look at some of the attributes. Win or lose. Three, two, one countdown. We've got the minimum speed for the enemy AI and the maximum speed. So if you get too far away from the enemy, the enemy will catch up eventually. We've got how much NOS per round, which is three. And we've got some the NOS timer, which is how long the NOS will last for. So now if we go into scene, we can have a look at the layers. Here we've got invisible collidable actors. This is where all our, our collidable actors are. We've got the background images, we've got the waypoints layer, we've got our cars layer, and we've got our UI layer. So say you wanted to add another waypoint, all you would have to do is go into tables, checkpoint, here is our checkpoint positions. So, so far we've got 10 waypoints. All we would have to do to add another waypoint is go 11 rows. That would add another waypoint, but for now we'll just keep it as 10. Every time you add a waypoint, your enemy car will lock onto it and it will go towards that waypoint once it is ready. So as you can see, all these white images here are the waypoints currently set. Say if I went to move this waypoint here, all the way back to here. Then the enemy AI would follow the map all the way up to this waypoint, go back to this waypoint, and go back towards this waypoint here to do another lap again. It's really easy to customize, guys, and if you need any help, feel free to email us over at our website. So go ahead and check this out, guys, over at www.gsinvention.com.